Hey there guys, so a little bit of an update here for the claw machine. So as you can see I've got some lighting in there now. I've also programmed it as a ping pong mode and a traditional claw mode. Again this is going to show you just why I'm going to be calling this the best Arduino claw machine you will ever see. We've added some little claw tips on the top there. Now a little bit that might make you groan or it might make you say ooh um, is that this claw machine is going to be based around the game Five Nights at Freddy's. So I've added in the sound now that now runs through speakers and we've also got a credit display. The control box has now been mounted although it, again nothing's running on the inside at the moment so all the wires are still visible. Again this is all going to be sort of tidied up at the end. So you've got the credit display there, you've got your speaker there. The um, programmable options have changed again. So we can now set the volume, um, prize every time, ping pong mode. So that's the mode that you're going to see now. Um, and you can lower the tray in the ping pong mode. Um, so let's start this up. Show you the serial monitor. So it boots up. And it just runs the grabber program, initializes the sound. That all runs nice. Now I've added credits on here as well. So you just, at the moment, it's just uh, typing in A to get your credits up. Eventually it will run through a coin mech. Right, so that's, uh, that's actually too quiet. So if I quickly change this to piss off the, the misses, let's turn it up a bit, change that to 20, upload the new sketch, thank you for depositing five coins, thank you for depositing five coins, thank you, that's just to say that the program coins. has changed, thank you for depositing and that will coins. eventually reset again. Reset it properly. There we go. There we go. There's a little bug that I've got to work out. It's not brilliant. So yeah. So again, we're just going to type in the A. This is just to simulate coin mix. Thank you for depositing five coins. It says five coins every time because that's a traditional thing that uh, one of the characters on FNAF uh, says. So as you start moving the crane. Starts playing music, takes your credit down by one. Again, three credits. Takes it down. One on there quick. There you go. Now you would get a uh, a ping pong ball uh, one on, in the tray there. It would show like a little X or something like that to show which ping pong ball you'd need to get the ball in to win the prize. Um, that's going to be set up to um, a sensor like I have in the the payout tray there, so it will detect when a prize ball is actually in the prize hole uh, and then I'm going to have uh, either a solenoid there holding a prize which again will just deliver it down to the prize chute or more uh, creatively I'm thinking about having the row of prizes at the front here and like having a little conveyor belt so again when it detects the prize ball it will then send one of the prizes down and then I'm going to have a little chute 
that comes off here it's going to tip the balls out and it's going to run all the balls straight back in to uh, the ball uh, box should we call it so um yeah let me know let, let me know down in the comments which idea you think i should do solenoid at the top which will release a prize like on a string or something like that down into the hole or a nice little conveyor belt there uh, with the prizes all lined up and it's just going to go and drop one down Now, so we've done with uh, those credits there. Now, just to show you exactly how easy it is to change it back to normal mode. Look, it's got, uh, is ping pong mode. Change that to a zero. Upload that. Open up the serial mode again. Resets. Ready to go. Add on some credits. Now I'm going to have it so it resets back to here because it will need to reset back to that position there. Uh, however, when you now go for your prize again, it would be like a teddy bear, but all my kids' teddy bears are, well, so it's got mini net. But this time it now takes it to the tray and it runs it on the uh, traditional um, payout sensor, uh, prize percentage and whatnot, whereas the ping pong mode is set to pay every time, obviously, because all you're doing is putting ping pongs into a box. Um, and one last little jobby that I forgot to show you on here. Uh, so let's change is ping pong mode back on. We'll change the lower to the tray. We'll upload that. Resets the module. Ready to go. Add on a few credits. Thank you for depositing five coins. And this one will now act a little bit differently. That is slightly raised, so I'm not too sure how this is going to work, but first time for everything but this will now lower the ball into position and then return to home if I just remove that other box So everything's just running a little bit lower now. And again, I'm going to have it eventually so that when the winning, like that one, so that one's got a little circle around it. One, This is brand new. I literally bought this off Amazon today. It's just like an egg basket, actually. Um, but then I'm going to have like a little chute that comes down here and then down this way. And all it's going to do is it's going to tip that up like that. And it's going to push the balls that way and then down a little hoop and back into the ball again, ready to go again. And that's especially good with this little conveyor thing that I'm thinking at the front here. Um, because... That way, 
it's just literally automatic. You could just keep it playing, keep it playing, keep it playing, win, 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 reset, reset. It's perfect. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that's the claw machine at the moment. I'm really, really, really proud of this. Um, like I say, everything is, seems to be going so well, um, with this idea. I know, like I say, it's looking a bit shabby at the moment. Uh, it's not decorated, um, and got wires out, but again, these are all going to be put in, um, underneath once I've drilled out. Uh, it's been, weather's been horrible lately. Um, yeah, so I'm going to drill out the a back panel on the back so I can easily uh, access all the wiring and power supplies and all that in case I need to change anything. But yeah, so uh, that is the claw machine. Uh, th this will be a video showing you, well, there will be a video showing you how to recreate this yourself. Um, you will just need a gantry. The rest of it, everything, everything has been uh, handmade and hand programmed by myself all right then guys well anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all around take it easy bye bye